Hello everybody, this is Pally welcoming you back to my Norska campaign for Total War Warhammer and now with the Steel Faith Overhaul. I've decided since it's now available for the Norska update that I wanted to integrate Steel Faith into this campaign and see how it has modified the Norska. So despite this being mid-campaign, we're starting off this time with the overhaul in. And I've made sure that it will load. I haven't really taken much of a look at anything beyond that. So, let's see what has changed for us. Now, my uh, read of the Steel Faith patch notes is that overall the uh, Marauder units are a bit better than they were previously. But also most likely more expensive. And, oh... Yeah, we are now at minus 3,000 predicted income per turn, which I'm pretty sure we were losing money per turn when we ended our last session, but not that much. So that really means we need to do some raiding into Imperial territory for income very soon. And I also want to... Save some money here. We're gonna get rid of some unnecessary guys. Oh, crap. We can't disband Wolfric because he's a legendary lord. Olaf. You're not legendary, are you? No, I don't think so. In which case, we can bring Wolfric south and have him take over Olaf's army and then retire Olaf. Okay, that's a plan. Inger Helstead, you can transfer these trolls to Olaf, and then we're going to retire you. Saves me a couple hundred a turn at least. Not nearly enough. <sighs> the main problem is that this army is really not intended to go head to head with significant forces. But at the moment, I don't really have much in the way of vulnerable targets for to raid either. We've got this Norskin army here at uh, Dietersafen. We did destroy Salzaman, but I'm kind of wishing now that we had just left it available for raiding. Eh. Well, either way, we will get Throg back into friendly territory next turn. He'll start regenerating, and we can bring him over to start doing some sacking of enemy targets. And we've got seven, six or seven turns before we're out of money. Was this weekend? Yes, it was. That also hurts us. Less direct income generation. Each of these were making... Yeah, tier one was making 100, but tier two was making 200, tier three was making 300, so... Minus 50 for tier 2 and 3, so that cuts onto our income a bit since we've been building a lot of those. Uh, well, until we get our income situation a little more stable, I don't think we're going to be doing much in the way of building structures. Instead, we are going to focus on getting Throg south and continuing his sacking of the enemy. And I don't know that there's much else for us to do this turn then, so... Let's see what happens next. I also uh, want to apologize, I'm getting a uh, late start today because of real-world life issues that I wasn't expecting. Uh, this one's not going- this session's not going to be as long as I wanted it to be. destruction upon the world, my lord. Your allegiance to your god builds. The Norse gods are a maleficent group. Stray from your master now, and you will surely feel its wrath. Give yourself fully, however, and you will become their champion, marked for all to see by your pure devotion. Alright, so we got a little bit- out of that, good. And now we need to get level 3 allegiance, because we're now at level 2. All of our units are gaining 100 experience per turn. So everyone's going to be leveling up very fast. Uh, and I want that Hell Cannon. The Iceforged Legion. 
But, uh, in anyhow, as I was saying before the old blind man interrupted me, uh, I got a late start today. I was hoping to, or planning, rather, to make most of my sessions for the next month closer to the two-hour mark in length because I'm running the two campaigns, uh, both this one and my Clan Angrund one for now. But... Real life intervened today, and that, unfortunately, simply wasn't in the cards. Oh, jeez. What's our public order looking like? In these regions? Pretty good. Okay. Alright. We aren't looking to have a bunch of rebellions at home soon, but... Rebellions abroad, that lack of corruption could cause us some problems. Alright, well, it's gonna be taking us a little time to kind of consolidate these areas. So that's fine. We can make some money off of the battles against rebels, honestly. Let's see... Uh, yeah, we'll build a chaos shrine. Meanwhile, Throg, we need to make sure you are in friendly territory. So, get there. Yes! You are recovering. Good. Replenishing, whatever. And we can get the Cold Voider Frostworm for another 783 a turn here. And 3,000 to recruit, and dear god, is that tempting. Ugh. Not yet. We'll wait until we are about to actually attack somewhere. I do want it with the army, though. This is Throg's, uh... Army of... <coughs> Sorry, army of monsters. So, we want to get as many of our best monsters in it as we can. Meanwhile, we need to start a new monster hunt. So, let's see, we have a Super Saigor to kill here. I don't really want that eyeball that much. Hmm. Not bad, but Brood Queens, Arachn Rock Eggs. Regeneration's nice, spawning is nice, but Sneaky Giant Club. Hmm. Type explosion. Plus thirty melee attack, plus forty-four weapon damage. Very powerful weapon there, definitely. Forest Dragon Fang. Oh. That's nice. Poison attacks, plus 12 melee. Let's see these top guys. The Great Ma Mammoths of the Maw Herd of Blood Ford. We get Last of the Great Ma Maw Herd. Constant uh, Death Blow, Constant Frenzy. We get the Mammoth itself as a recruitable. Or we have this Terror Geist, and we get a Skull, gives a Blinding Augment. Hmm. Let's go for this Mammoth. This, feel, this feels like what we should go for next. The Great Maw Herd of Bloodfjord. So a great prize awaits the hunter who dares brave the most desolate reaches of the northern tundra. One particular herd of mammoths known as the Great Maw Herd of Bloodfjord has earned notoriety throughout the tribes for having the most powerful and unpredictably aggressive beasts in its parade. Slaying them will surely earn great favor. Move any character to the following region. So, mammoths are great are important tools of war for the northern tribes and highly valued for sacrifice to dark gods. Lately there have been sightings of some particularly impressive specimens around Norskan regions. Rumored to be members of a legendary herd of behemoths known as the Great Maw Herd of Bloodfjord. This herd is thought to graze on the icy slopes of the Mountains of Hell. These beasts shall be a great offering indeed. Go there and seek out the herd. So the Winter Pyre is up north here. We need to send somebody there. Uh, Let's send Atolf here. He hasn't really been impressing us in battle that much anyways. This isn't an army that relies on special tricks with its wizards and magic and all that. This is an army that just kind of slams its way into the enemy and says, Hi, I'm here to destroy you. So let's keep things moving. 
I'm curious about what they're going to do with this army at Dietershof, and they may try to sail north and essentially attack us. And if they do that, then we will have an opening to attack them. It'll be interesting to see. Ah, yep, I was right. They are sailing north. And they're declaring war. Okay, fair enough. Don't really care. They're far away. Uh, oh, Throg's army was assaulted. No, everything's still regenerating just fine. Some savage orcs, don't really care. Alright, so, yeah, it looks like Steel Faith did its usual job of improving garrisons a bit. No, it doesn't mean we're going to win a fight against this one, since its mortars can just sit back and pummel us. Uh, <laughs> but, like I said, them going north leaves them open to a counterattack, so we will head west to try and pull one off. Oh! These orcs spawn right next to our territory, which means they're going to be a problem for us more than anyone else. And I don't like that. Uh, so we have axes, lots of axes. Some are anti-large. That's frustrating. It's not a huge bonus, though. Well, we don't have much in the way of anti-large, do we? The ice wolves and the beasts of Tashnar. Skin wolves, okay. So those are the ones we'd want to have interrupting the boar boys, who are also anti-large. It's just a number of our units are still depleted here. I don't know if we want to attack Gort's Chosen just yet. Ah, hell with that. Let's have some fun. We'll bring in the Frostworm. Attack! Already, what, like, almost 13 minutes in and we haven't had a battle? We have to change that. Let's do this. Yeah, they outnumber us, but we are strong. We shall destroy them. Alright, so our skin wolves and these two right here are anti-large. Those are the ones we want on the flanks to counter the boar boys. Everybody else, I think we want to go gen with our kind of our usual strategy of monsters in front, trolls, mammoth, mammoth, giant, war mammoth, frogs himself. Alright, and are the Fimir anti-large? No, they are not. So we will put them in with the ice trolls here. Right in the front line. Alright, well, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do one kind of mixed unit on the side here. Two have anti-large, one doesn't. One on the other side here. Kind of the same mix. Ah, they changed the Warhounds, the second tier ones. So now these guys are just a lot, lot stronger. Individually, anyways. Cool! I'm glad I noticed that. Alright, we have a handful of infantry. Bring them back there. We have our Werewolf Man. We'll put him right next to Throg. And Cold Void. You can actually hang out and back. And that is our main force. Let's put them right here, ready to march straight at the enemy. And our flankers on the side. Let's get this started. Whoa, hello. They have guys all the way over here. Interesting. 
Well, we'll start moving, see how they are set up. Maybe they are in a long line like this? If so, that probably will work in our favor. We, fa we tend to prefer the close-in fights, so... How we doing? Uh, we might want this force to pull back, keep it out of arrow range. We have... Boar boys, boar boys, boar boy biggins. Huh. Didn't notice them. Well, that's a lot of boars. That's a bit more of a problem than I expected, but that's okay. We will do what we've got to do. Everyone just charging for the attack. We're gonna have to start this up. Let's have the mammoths turn to the side, try and hit the boar boys. Not gonna work. Alright, well, we tried. How about that group? No, we've got these guys covering them. I don't like that. Slow things down. I need to see what's happening here. All right, all these guys are focusing on the mammoth. Hit them. Meanwhile, Throg, Tormentor Sword. And let's buff our guys as well. Utterly slaughter them in the center. Where is their general? Vishnus. Boldworm, you're good, you're good. Mammoth! Give yourself some, some damage resist. Why not? You're taking on an entire unit of savage orcs yourself. And they seem hesitant to charge on the side here. How are we doing here? Hurting them. Good. Okay. Well. We have this frostworm scale. Let's drop it on these guys and see what it does. Oh yeah, that's what I thought it would do. Doesn't seem to be hurting us too much, so I don't mind having dropped it. It's actually going along their line very nicely. Can't always count on a vortex spell to do that. Alright everybody, we need to turn and hit them over here. You guys come help there. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Don't chase them that far. Alright. Trolls! Keep up the attack. Trolls, help out over here. You try and deal with the big ones. Throg! You're doing your thing. There... Oh, where is Vicious? There he is. I want Throg and Gila focusing on their general. We take him out, we have one. Frostworm. Doing its thing. It's beautiful! Beautiful creature. Uh, I need to be able to see what's happening here. Uh uh. Turn around, hit those guys. Oh, this mammoth is badly hurt. As is this one, but they did their jobs. So I can't complain. Trolls, help out over here. You turn around, hurt them. Making the main force run. Let's see if we can get these guys. Keep it up. Meanwhile, where are my maws? There they are. Come help. We need to make sure the enemy die here. Ice Worm, do the same. You guys, do the same. And there is our victory! Let's kill as many as we can. Yes, all of group one, attack them. Two, work your way through here. You guys are not gonna catch them, that's okay. And Grog and everybody else keep up the attack. I don't think we'll get them all, but we can get a lot of them. Oh yeah. 
way too close to the border to get even the majority. Well, that's okay. That was a good victory right there. I'm pretty happy with that. And this army is even smaller in terms of number of units now. 332, that's how many we had. And 200 plus of them are the chieftains. Or champions. Definitely an army of monsters. And that's what I like about it. So, we got a bit of cash. Uh, we will sacrifice the captives for yet more. And there end the Skull Takers. Throg, continue heading south. Atulf, continue heading north. Wolfric the Wanderer, you can't move at all anymore this turn. Frog, we leveled you up. We got Lightning Strike. Spawn of Chaos is tempting. So is Unnatural Healing, though. In fact, that's exceedingly tempting. We're gonna take that. This army could use the ability to heal even more quickly. Keep these individual strong units in the fight. And again, because of our current crappy income, I think we're going to end this turn here. Expect the longship graveyard's about to be attacked. Yep. Well, we're not gonna win. Oops. <laughs> huh. You know, actually, we might win this if we just charge them right away. So... Huh! This is an odd, very odd Imperial Army. They will all be coming from over here. We are... Nice and sort of hidden back here. If we hang out back here, they won't be able to see us until they get close. They'll probably be bringing their mortars close. I don't know. Part of me would rather just kind of start in kind of two blobs. Okay, that's where they are. They are far back there. How far can the mortars reach to here? Hmm. <laughs> All right. I think here's what we are going to do. We are going to take these four units, have them right here, then these two and this guy are going to be right here. Uh. -uh. Down below, they're going to be coming out from this flank. These guys from here. The idea, hopefully, is that the mortars will only concentrate on one of these formations. And the other will get there largely unscathed. The others, rather, will get there mostly unscathed. We'll see how that works. Alright, you guys get moving. You guys get moving. They'll come to us. And once they start getting close to range is when we want to start moving. Uh, if only we had, like, the, the uh, loose formation from some of the previous Total Wars. That'd be lovely. Let's speed this up a little. We're gonna stop pretty soon, so we're gonna start moving. Main force, second force, third force. Just move as fast as you can, guys. Get up close, start punching them in the face. You, general, hit this guy. Missile specialist coming straight forward, that's funny. Come on.
He's already at only half leadership. That's that's just wonderful. Group one, push forward, attack! Attack! There we go. This may actually work out for us. The mortars have been used pretty ineffectively here. Uh, I mean, this unit of spears and this unit of spears have both taken heavy losses, but neither are destroyed. Alright, marauders, kill those halberds. Spears! Get them! You spears, get them. You guys hit them. You target hero units. You guys move around the side. Hit this group of mortars. Come on. Take this guy on. He's not doing anything. Oh, those axes thrown at him. He still doesn't move. Alright, you guys move forward. You move forward. Come on, keep it up. We have work to do here, people. You hit that. Actually, no. You hit them. You hit them. Hit them in the back. Use your ranged weapons to effect. Alright. Back here, we've taken out most of these mortars. That's gone quite well. Let's come and try and support the rest of the, our army. That mortar is being destroyed. Excellent. Marauders, spears, get back up here. We need you. There we go. Hit this force in the back. And they start breaking. Pretty much up to their heroes to win this now. Everyone else turned back. We have work to do. And those halberds have broken. Excellent. Come on. Kill as many as you can. Now give it damn about their missile specialists, really, not compared to the halberdiers. Alright, keep it up. We're killing and breaking them. We've done it! Let's kill as many as we can. Let's see if we can take out the, uh, the hero. He's the primary target there. Those guys have special gear, experience, all the the primary reasons why you want to kill something. But that guy's getting away. That guy's getting away. And that guy looks like he's gonna get away too. Wonder if we end it here. It might auto calc it to me killing them. Oh, heroic victory! Hell yes! Don't get those often. I don't know exactly how the game calculates them, but... Always nice to have one. I mean, granted, it's because auto-calc gives the mortars a lot of points, but... Without infantry to support them, mortars are way too squishy. Let's sacrifice captives for an extra 900, and now they're stuck in our territory, badly hurt. I like that.
the Scarecrow banner. Those are always fun. Whoa, hello. I'll ignore that. To the four corners. Ugh. Wolfric, you do not have lightning strike, do you? Nope, not even close. I... Yeah. Even if this garrison is still depleted, I don't want to risk his army alone. Throg, on the other hand, can handle this just fine. And he'll have to next uh, turn or two. Again, I still don't want to spend money upgrading things. We are already just hemorrhaging funds, so... Aha! There, we got our guy up there. I completely forgot about that. Come on! Do your thing, be annoying. Ah, they're raiding. I will send this army north to take care of them, I think. Jerks. And first part of the quest successful. Arriving in the Mountains of Hell, the Elephantine Beasts are nowhere to be found. Instead, it seems there are several dwarf warriors to the area, namely Slayers and Rangers. Clearly, they too are hunting this herd, but you can't be sure of their motives. The nearest dwarf holds are in the nearby Giant Hold Mountains. Go there and squeeze some information. So, raid crack a drack. Um. Well, he won't cost much. I just need somebody to go over there and do it. It'll cost a bit for the next turn, but that's life. Alright, we'll send you north to deal with this punk, Theodric Gosser. Throg, meanwhile, will come west. Honestly, this army plus Salzamund's garrison, probably still not a match for Throg's army. And we will test that next turn. Yep, oh, I should have started moving him south. God damn it. Trying to keep things moving here for you, especially given the shortened session, but. Uh, nope. Need more than that, sorry guys. Don't care. You come here and. Good. We don't need anything special for raiding. Atoll, if you can start moving south again. Should have done that last turn. Alright! Well, sacking this place again ain't gonna get us a damn thing, but we can destroy it at least. Oof. That's a tougher garrison than I thought they would have. And a lot of anti-large in it. Hmm. I'm thinking instead... Damn. It's like, I, I, I feel like we could fight through this, but we would take significant losses in the process. And I don't want to do that. Instead, we are going to move around. We will aim for Dietershafen. We need, or actually, we could aim for Middenheim and try and force Toddbringer here to come to us. That I think is what we will do. Email you guys. Can you come hit Dietershafen? Yes. Okay. At least we get some fight this. This session, let's do this. Nordland took their army out of the place and they are now going to pay the price. So, let's see what this map looks like. I don't know if I've fought on it before. They do have a decent force here, so I don't want to get too cocky here. Oh, camera starts turned around. Let's gamble. Start deployment. Okay, well, interesting map. 
So we either have a gate and this little entrance to go through, or we have a much broader opening over here. Well, not that much broader. But I think that's the entryway we want to take. We need to bring our numbers to bear. If I had hounds, I would leave some over here to be a uh, surprise attack force. Maybe we do that with uh, our hunters? Mm. No, I don't think so. Well, if um, the reason I was thinking not is because they would be vulnerable to the Empire's knights, but if we leave them some spearmen support, have them invisible at the beginning of the fight, there's a chance. Put them here. Let them come up through that gate or around if need to be. Alright, the rest of our army, however, we are going to form up kind of right here, I think. Get them into their general lines a little farther back since we have some obstructions up here. Trolls. 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 Wolfric in his chariot. And our wizard. Okay. So that's our main force. It can kind of go here for now and start moving forward. Alright, let's get moving, people. Let's see how this goes. We are all hidden, but so are they. So yeah, my plan is to get most of their attention in this area right here, at these two openings. I'm going to end up splitting this force in two. We'll hit here and here. And so let's start actually doing that. Right here is the smaller entrance. It will get fewer troops, but it will get the wizard. And one set of trolls. You guys, right there. Two. You... The larger force you get over there. Don't run though, I don't want you tiring yourselves out. And group one I think can advance without being spotted. If it does get spotted, at least we'll have an idea of where they are too. Nobody run, I don't want you getting tired. So far, no enemies. Where are they hiding the cowards? In that case, group three, start hitting in. Aha! There they are. Kind of all weirdly positioned in the center of town because unfortunately the AI is not the greatest with uh, the custom maps but we've seen that before such is life let's get these guys lined up how I want them and have group 2 kind of slam in from right here group 3 come in this way Group one over this way. Try and catch all the enemy in the, in the center of, of my forces. We'll see how this goes. Ah, they're starting to get sight of us. Halberds far back there. Come on, guys, make your way inward. Let's really start moving. Come on. Whoa, hello. Hold on, hold on. We have significant enemy forces over here. We have great swords and knights. 
That's good to know. Um, okay, well, here's what we are going to do. We will pull the spearmen to right here. Guard this forces back. Meanwhile, the hunters... Oh, actually, no, we'll pull the spearmen up here, have them try and engage these swordsmen. Hunters can go here. Like that for the moment. Group three, make your way to there. I think. Group two, over here. Everybody start running, we got... The fighting about to begin here. Uh -uh. Get in here. If they these are hand gunners, just engage in melee. Let's do this. They're falling back. Come on, hit trolls! Hit that force. Yeah, free company can't handle trolls. Wanderer, get your ass over here. Swordsmen and handgunners engaging our men. That's not ideal. Uh, see if that helps. <laughs> Cause terror. Meanwhile. Human darkness on these guys as well. Let's mess with their leadership. Everyone get in here. We have fighting to do. You guys come around this way. Doesn't look like there's a way down here. Okay, yeah. These two are in trouble. <laughs> but we are hurting the enemy pretty badly, so... I'm okay with that. Wolfric, get into the fight. Okay, let's uh, see if we can get these guys to come down here. Move, move, move. No, not gonna happen. Alright. Trolls, let's fight these knights. Wolfric, weapon damage boost. Sea Fang. No idea what this does, let's see. Oh, cool! Didn't do that much for us, but cool. Yeah, these guys are dead. <laughs> Brought them in too early, it would seem. Everybody get into the fight! Wizard, where are you? Aspect of the Dread Knight! Doom and Darkness! Break them! And that just screws the enemy's leadership while making our guys terrifying. And that causes a lot of units to start breaking. These knights are broken now. Oh, it's beautiful. Hard to see much with all the magic effects, though. All units, keep going! Alright. And people say these spells suck. Let's keep everybody terrifying. We will keep breaking these garrison units. Wolfric. In the front. Get this up, see what it does right here. Oh! Lines straight through. That was nice. Now we're just trying to push through this one gate. 
probably foolish of me, but I want to... I want to show them they can't hold us here. Wizard, do your thing. Drop their leadership. And make us terrifying. And that likely breaks the enemy. Yep. We've done it! Somebody just got thrown all the way back. Ah, but he survived! That guy. MVP of the garrison right there, maybe. Or at least a sir. He's gonna get away. Yep, he's running away from my forces. I'll let him survive. He's smart. Alright, but we're gonna end this one. And hopefully get in one more battle before I have to call this a session. Again, my apologies for the shortness of this one, but real life has its way of surprising us. Yep, those two were wiped out. That's okay. 1400. Nice. And do we sack? Do we outpost? Do we sack? Do we outpost? Sack. Ah, relic sword. And a traitor. Good. Trade. Alright, so yeah, I think we'll get one more turn in and we will use that to attack Middenheim. At the moment, we're kind of maintaining our money. We are not making much. Oh, and there they fall back to Middenheim. I guess we're just going to destroy Salzman then. Might be a little anticlimactic, sorry. But that's what is the next smart move. Aha! We have raided Krakadrak. Next, we must raid Fort Ostrosk. We have gathered information that a large dwarf expedition has just departed to hunt down the herd. Their involvement is an interesting development since they are not known to be avid monster hunters, nor are they known to use mammoths in their battle ranks as the northern tribes do. There must be a good reason for them to have left the safety of their holds just to hunt down some belligerent beasts. They were last seen marching for Kislev. So, further reconnaissance is needed. Of course. And hello, Mid Inland Army, being annoying. Well, you are. Well, too far away for us to do anything this turn. Let's hit Salzman. Toddbringer invested a fair bit trying to build this place back up. I say we take it away from him. Okay, so do we have any busted wall segments? No, the place has been rebuilt fully. That's fine. Well, we are going to focus, I think, just on... Ah, oh, why not? We can split our forces up, hit two gates. I'm thinking we will have our Skin Wolves. He loved the Storm Ravens. And the Feral Mammoths. Over here. Our Ice Trolls, Mist Stalkers... Soul Crusher and Throg right here. Let's give the giant to this force. Our wolves can kind of hang out in back. They aren't going to be of use until after the gates fall. And I don't want them getting picked off by the towers. Our Marauder Champions, we will have just head for these walls right here. And we have a Frostworm to do whatever we want with. The start. All right, everybody, get moving. Frostworm. What are your stats? 60, 42, 110 armor. Cool. 
hit these spearmen then. I want you to start causing havoc on top of the wall. And I'm pretty sure you can pull it off just fine. If I need to, I'll pull it out. Yeah! Keep an eye on its health. That's dropping not too quickly. This group of spearmen is doing worse. The armor's helping a lot here. Once we get our marauders on the wall, they'll be able to help too. Right now, the Frostworm's job is to kind of distract. You guys are getting there, and so are you. These gates are not going to last long. Inside! And inside! Go for them! Trolls. Breaking right through these swordsmen like they're nothing. And against the trolls, they really aren't. Frostworm has helped take the walls just fine. The marauders now are arriving to back him up. Excellent. Alright, so far, Gila! Get some of you guys moving up to attack their ranged units. Skin wolves, get up here. Gila's doing her thing. Let's drop some ice on this area. Is this even hurting her, guys? Nope. Very nice. Tearing these fools apart. This mammoth is crushing these free company, and the giant will help. This mammoth's doing just fine against some spearmen. The giant. <laughs> free company have no chance against something like that. And and that's our victory already. That was a little too easy, I have to admit. But then again, this really is pretty much an all elite army in most respects, so. That's to be expected. I'd love to go longer, but I just don't have the time. This is going to be one of my shortest one videos in a while, but... This feels like the right place to end this session, doing a couple of moves on the campaign map. I feel is better saved for when we start up next time. So, my apologies, but I will be back tomorrow with hopefully a uh, more full-length session. Frenzy to salt, there we go. And we will see how things go then. For now, I'm just going to save up and say that I hope you enjoyed this session despite its uh, briefness. And I will be back soon with more, so feel free to subscribe and we'll see you next time. As always, this is Pally, signing off.